Okay, let's talk about five elements. This is the most important part because we can really differentiate which organ is strong, which organ is weak. It is a little complicated uh, to really determine, but we will start with each element. Wood element is considered as the liver and gallbladder, as a wood organ, and neurons are in this area. So nervous system is the wood, and eyes and vision is part of wood, and fire is heart and small intestine, so it can take part a lot in circulatory system. And for eyes, it contributes expansion of eyes, expansion of vision, like how to expand my vision through the eyes. And eye as a wood is eye itself. It is related with the liver system very closely. When liver is really tired, your eyes get tired as well. And earth is in the middle, so it is all about stomach and spleen, which means digestive system. Here the spleen contains spleen plus pancreas, part of spleen and, uh, and pancreas. And metal is lung and large intestine, respiratory system. And skin is really close relation with the lung. If you look at the dryness or moisture, of the skin, you can look at the metal or metal element. And we said the in aspect is the fluid, so it can contribute to fluid dispersion, distribution through the through the body. And as a lung is considered as what is that the intercooler? Intercooler for the heart. And heart is considered as engine if we consider our body is like a car. And the water aspect is kidney and bladder. Here is urinary bladder. And it is the reproductive system. So uterus, ovaries, prostate, those are considered as a water realm. And it can also be part of the fluid and eyes. If we think about the eye, fluid in the eye. So that is the generation cycle between the water and the wood. If water has enough fluid and moisture, it can tonify these eyes, so eyes become not dry. So there it is five element on health. So when we look at the human body, lung is here, and heart is here, kidneys maybe around here. <laughs> this is spleen. Spleen is like here. So the wood is the, uh, I, I, I want to use better liver image. <laughs> so wood is here, wood organ, liver and gallbladder. This, this, the green thing is gallbladder. This brown is liver. If you don't know about the organs in the body, this one is wood. Fire is a heart here and small intestine. And metal is a lung is intercooler for the heart to really protect the heart to really heat up and earth is in the middle as a stomach and spleen and also this large intestine actually here to here to here all all these are large intestine so the metal element is really interesting it, it is kind of the cover cover of the body cover for this heart cover for this fire here the small intestine so large intestine is going from the right side of the abdomen, going upward like that. So it's very interesting to see. And kidney here is on the back, on both sides, plus the urinary bladder. That's kind of <laughs> really messy. <laughs> but you can see metal is kind of the cover. Fire is kind of interacted, interact with this metal very closely fire and metal, fire and metal. And here the wood organ as a liver is interact with this earth on the side, stomach and the liver relation is really important in oriental medicine. And this wood organ, liver and large intestine is also really important. Liver and the lung is also really important. They are all close, they are all packed in together in different arrangement. And water is kind of making a balance about kind of filtering aspect and protect the 
body from the germs and give some fresh filtered fluid on the body. Yeah, it's very interesting yeah, to see. I, this is my first time to really <laughs> look at the body like that. It's very interesting. The metal aspect is really, really, really interesting to me.